In the high-stakes world of Formula 1, the 1983 season stands out as a defining moment for Brabham and BMW. The collaboration between these two giants in motorsport resulted in a formidable combination that shook the competition to its core. To understand the significance of BMW's infusion of rocket fuel, we must delve deeper into their history in Formula 1, the specifics of the engine and how this interesting fuel mix played a crucial role in their road to victory. Now the partnership between Brabham and BMW had its share of challenges and tensions, but it was Nelson Piquet, the talented Brazilian driver who served as the linchpin that held everything together. Piquet's foresight and dedication to the BMW-powered car played a pivotal role in the success they achieved. As the shift towards turbocharged F1 engines became evident, Piquet understood the importance of collaborating closely with Paul Rocher, the visionary head of BMW Motorsports Engine Division. The season started with a bang for Brabham and BMW, with Piquet claiming a surprising victory at the Brazilian Grand Prix in the BT52, a car meticulously designed by Gordon Murray. However, as the season progressed, their performance waned and they faced fierce competition from the likes of Reynolds' Alan Prost. Unbeknownst to the competitors and spectators, Brabham and BMW were meticulously crafting their in-game strategy. They had developed an upgraded version of the BT-52, the BT-52B, which was their secret weapon. This car, when combined with BMW's revolutionary rocket fuel, would ultimately prove to be their path to victory. The Nazi rocket fuel, as it was informally called, due to its dramatic revelation during the closing races, was a masterstroke by Paul Rocher. His relentless pursuit of more power from the four-cylinder engine led him on a quest for legendary fuel developed during World War II. The breakthrough came when he collaborated with a fuel expert from Wintershaw, a BASF subsidiary, who devised a synthetic fuel with a unique formula. You see, during that era, the fuel regulations mandated that race cars use petrol similar to that used in road cars. BMW's technicians spotted a potential advantage. The regulations specified a maximum octane rating of 102, which is a measure of a fuel's performance in resisting knocking or detonation. But this loose wording allowed the BMW team to think outside of the box and explore unconventional solutions. Their innovative solution involved incorporating toluene into the fuel mix. Toluene, also known as methyl benzene, is a hydrocarbon derived from petrol. What made toluene a game changer was its unique properties that provided several performance benefits. First, it burned more rapidly, generating more heat energy during combustion. This increase in heat energy translated into more power being generated by the engine, giving BMW's racing cars an advantage on the track. Moreover, toluene's resistance to detonation was a significant benefit. Detonation, also known as engine knock, occurs when the air-fuel mixture ignites spontaneously and unevenly inside the engine cylinders, leading to a loss of power and potential engine damage. By using toluene, in their fuel blend, the BMW technicians effectively mitigated this issue, ensuring consistent and reliable performance on the racetrack. This transformation made the BMW engine significantly less susceptible to detonation, a problem that had plagued them before. As a result, the revitalized four-cylinder engine produced horsepower well over 750 horsepower on race weekends and on qualifying sessions their cars made over 1300 horsepower which is insane for a small little 1.5 litre engine. The revelation of the rocket fuel during the German Grand Prix at Hockenheim was a turning point in the championship. The upgraded BT-52B powered by the rocket fueled BMW engine became F1's speed monarch. Piquet's performance during the final trio of races at Monza, Brands Hatch and Kailami was nothing short of spectacular. He, along with his teammate Ricardo Patrice, emerged as the indisputable pacemakers propelling Piquet to his second world title. Now the road to victory was not without its obstacles. Technical intricacies and engine complications tested the metal of the team. Piquet's triumph at Monza was nearly jeopardized due to engine issues, adding an air of suspense and uncertainty. However, Piquet's skill and determination allowed him to navigate the flattering vehicle to secure a victory. The championship climax at Kailami posted further challenges for BMW. The circuit's high altitude and thin air triggered detonation problems, leading to multiple engine breakdowns during test runs and practice sessions. BMW's solution involved adjusting the injectors to infuse more fuel into the engine, but it remained a tentative fix. Despite the hurdles, Brabham and BMW's alliance proved to be an unstoppable force. Their triumph in 1983 
marked a moment of triumph not only for them, but also for F1 history. The infusion of rocket fuel into the BMW engine was a groundbreaking move, sparking advancements in designer fuels and turbo technology in the years to come. By the way, this fuel BMW used wasn't cheap. These fuels contain around 80% duoline and were poisonous and, like I said, enormously expensive, costing up to $300 per liter at the time. Now the 1983 season showcased the power and innovative thinking, technical ingenuity and skill of a remarkable driver. Brabham and BMW's collaboration fueled by the revolutionary rocket fuel etched their names into the annals of motorsport history. It remains a shining example of how strategic planning, dedication and a touch of audacity can lead to championship glory in the world's most prestigious racing competition. Now at the end of the video you might wonder what did the FIA do about this? Well, they acted by limiting boost pressures in the engines, which means that using fuels like these would have less of an advantage. Yeah, so let me know down below what you think of this video and what you think of BMW's solution to pushing the boost through the roof. I think it's really cool, really smart, and thinking outside the box should not be penalized. I think it's like good when companies can think this far outside the box. Only negative was this fuel was pretty bad for the environment and it's poisonous and was crazy expensive but yeah let me know what you think down below if you guys enjoyed this video please leave a like and subscribe to the channel and if you did like it you'll most probably like most of my other stuff so just go through my channel see if there's something else you like i'll check you guys in the next one cheers i